yes students so this is calendar fun <clears throat> it is very very important to read your question properly now here they have said if 25th february 2016 falls on wednesday first thing february they are talking about and they are talking about 2016 so in order to decide that whether this year is a leap year or not we know leap year comes after every 4 years so we will see that whether 2016 is a leap year or not we will apply divisibility rule of 4 and 16 comes in four times table so that means 2016 is a leap year okay now as 2016 is in a leap year 25th 25 days of february are already gone so as 2016 is a leap year there are how many days in february 29 days and 25 days are already gone so we will do minus 25 days so in case of feb we will consider 4 days 25 february falls on wednesday then 19th may 2016 will fall on which day so from you know 26 feb till 19th may we are concerned so march we will take 31 days whole of march april whole of april we will take 30 days and may we are only concerned with 19 days because we have to find 19th may so now add this so answer is 84 days right now in a week there are 7 days so we will divide this 84 this is a short trick to find with the help of this you can solve any type of calendar sums whatever sums comes so this is remainder is 0 so as remainder is 0 we will consider our day as wednesday only that means 19th may will fall on wednesday if here there would had been remainder 1 we would had gone plus 1 that is thursday if here there would had been remainder 2 we would had gone plus 2 days ahead that is friday we will take another example first april 2018 falls on monday then 23rd june 2018 will fall on which day in april one day is gone so in case of april we will consider april has got 30 days so 30 minus 129 days in case of may we will consider only full of 31 days because we are concerned with all 31 days of may and in case of june we will consider only 23 days because they are talking about 23rd june so now 10 plus 3 13 we will add all of these so 3 plus 3 6 plus 2 8 three days in a week there are seven days so we will divide this by 7 seven ones are seven again seven ones are seven remainder is six so as remainder is six from here we will go six days forward so tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday i have gone six days forward So twenty third June will fall on Sunday. Yeah, thank you so much, students.